This, this is the stuff of like my nightmares. I never want to see something I'm working with start bubbling like that, and especially not explode. But this is a very good example of instructions are important. Industrial chemicals are not Ikea furniture. You can't just wing it. You got to do it right. So what was my man doing? If you want to keep a pool free of like algae and bugs and mosquitoes, you have to add usually chlorine to it. And this makes it inhospitable to life. And the way that most people do this is using a product called Pool Shock. Now, Pool Shock is a solid form of bleach, more or less. Whereas the bleach you use in your laundry is sodium hypochlorite, Pool Shock is calcium hypochlorite. The main difference being that the calcium ion has two plus charges instead of one, so you can have two of those hypochlorite bits attached to the calcium ion. So this Pool Shock stuff is not pure calcium hypochlorite. It's usually like 70%-ish. And the rest of it is a lot of calcium chloride, which is the de-icing salt that a lot of people use in the winter if you you know live somewhere where the roads get icy. The calcium chloride definitely doesn't help this situation. So what happened? It says in the instructions that you're supposed to put this stuff directly into the pool. You're not supposed to pre-mix it with water. And that's pretty much what my man did. But he did it kind of in the worst way that you can do it, where instead of having the water in the bucket and then putting the stuff into the water, he put the stuff in the bucket and then started adding water to it. Now, if you've ever been in a lab class, you may have heard somebody say, may their rest be long and placid, they added water to the acid. What this basically means is, if you have something that can react with water, you shouldn't add water to it in like a large quantity. You should add it to a large quantity of water. These pool shock tablets, they can react pretty vigorously with water. And that's why you're supposed to put them into the pool and not into a bucket that has a small volume of water. And here's why. When the calcium hypochlorite hits the water, it does the same thing that like sodium hypochlorite does. It turns into hypochlorous acid and this makes chlorine gas eventually. But this whole process generates a fair amount of heat. And while water can absorb a good amount of heat, there's a limit. It's got a, it's got a capacity for that. And at a certain point it starts to boil. Now, the other problem here is that calcium chloride I mentioned. Calcium chloride also generates a lot of heat when you dissolve it in water. Actually, it generates so much heat when you dissolve it in water that it gets used in like instant hand warmers and things like that. So in addition to the calcium hypochlorite heating up the water as it's turning into hypochlorous acid and then turning into chlorine gas, you've also got this calcium chloride dissolving in the water and heating up the water even more. And ultimately, you've only got a little bit of water there in that bucket. So the water's gonna start to boil and splatter and splash everywhere and send that stuff into, you know, your face. Now the party doesn't actually stop here though, because there are some other exacerbating factors to this whole situation. So for one, I have no idea how clean that bucket was before my man started using it. There's also the matter of the sticks that were used to stir this stuff, which I have no idea what they were made out of. I have no idea what they were sitting in beforehand, but I do know they probably added something to the solution that made this disaster even worse. <laughs> I hate to laugh, but I have it on reasonable good authority that my man survived unscathed. But yeah, let the lesson be learned. If a product comes with instructions, make sure you follow those instructions. And just because you did it this way a million times before doesn't mean that it's going to go correctly if you're not doing it the way it's supposed to be done. So, you know, lessons learned, I guess. If you have a pool, add the pool shock to the pool. Don't pre-dissolve it. You're not supposed to do it and you can end up in a worse situation than my man here. But yeah, thanks for watching to the end. If you enjoyed that, appreciate if you hit that like button. And until next time, it's Kim Thug.